Tell me about yourself. I am a dedicated and experienced nurse educator with a passion for empowering and mentoring aspiring nurses. I have X years of experience in nursing and have transitioned into the role of a nurse educator X years ago. I thrive on sharing my knowledge, facilitating learning, and shaping the future of nursing through education. What's your favorite part about being a nurse educator? One of my favorite aspects of being a nurse educator is witnessing the growth and development of my students. It brings me joy to see them gain confidence, acquire new skills, and become compassionate and competent healthcare professionals. Being able to shape their learning journey and contribute to their success is incredibly rewarding. What's your greatest strength as a nurse educator? One of my greatest strengths as a nurse educator is my ability to create a supportive and engaging learning environment. I strive to establish a positive rapport with my students, fostering open communication, active participation, and mutual respect. Additionally, my clinical experience allows me to provide real-world examples and bridge the gap between theory and practice. What's your greatest weakness as a nurse educator? While I continuously strive for improvement, one area I'm actively working on is balancing my workload effectively. As a passionate educator, I can sometimes dedicate more time and energy than necessary to certain tasks, which can impact my work-life balance. However, I'm implementing strategies such as better time management and delegation to address this weakness. What do you enjoy doing outside of work? Outside of work, I enjoy engaging in activities that help me recharge and maintain a healthy work-life balance. I find solace in activities like reading, practicing yoga, and spending quality time with my family and friends. I also like to explore nature through hiking and travel as it provides a refreshing perspective. Why did you decide to become a nurse educator? I decided to become a nurse educator because I am passionate about sharing my knowledge and experiences with others. Throughout my nursing career, I found fulfillment in mentoring and guiding my colleagues, and I realized that I had a strong desire to contribute to the development of future nurses. I believe that by becoming a nurse educator, I can make a broader impact by shaping the knowledge, skills, and attitudes of aspiring nurses and ultimately improving patient care. Can you tell us about your experience as a nurse and how it relates to your role as a nursing teacher? Yes, I have been a registered nurse for two years and have worked in a variety of healthcare settings, including hospitals, clinics, and long-term care facilities. My experience as a nurse has provided me with valuable insight into the challenges and rewards of the profession. As a nursing teacher, I am able to draw upon my experience to provide real-world examples and practical insights to my students, helping them to develop the skills and knowledge they need to succeed as nurses. How do you approach developing and delivering effective nursing education? Developing and delivering effective nursing education requires a comprehensive approach that takes into account the unique needs and learning styles of each student. To do so, I employ a variety of teaching strategies, including lecture-based instruction, hands-on clinical experience, and interactive group activities. I also provide frequent feedback to my students to help them identify areas where they need. Can you describe a time when you had to adapt your teaching approach to meet the needs of a particular student or group of students? One specific example that comes to mind was when I had a student with a learning disability in one of my classes. To meet their needs, I worked closely with them to develop a personalized learning plan that included additional resources and accommodations, such as extra time for assignments and exams. By adapting my approach to meet their needs, the student was able to succeed in the course and ultimately become a successful nurse. 
How do you ensure that your nursing curriculum is up to date and relevant to current healthcare practices? As a nursing teacher, it's essential to ensure that the curriculum is up to date and relevant to current healthcare practices. To do so, I regularly review and update the curriculum to reflect changes in healthcare practices and advances in nursing research. Additionally, I consult with industry experts and healthcare professionals to ensure that the curriculum reflects current best practices and addresses the needs of the healthcare industry. How do you stay engaged with the nursing community outside of the classroom? As a nursing teacher, staying engaged with the nursing community outside of the classroom is essential to maintaining relevance and staying up to date with the latest developments in the field. To do so, I participate in professional organizations, attend nursing conferences and workshops, and collaborate with healthcare professionals in the community. Additionally, I seek out opportunities to engage in research and publication to share my knowledge and contribute to the nursing profession. How do you promote critical thinking and problem-solving skills in your nursing students? To promote these skills in my students, I use a variety of teaching strategies that emphasize active learning, such as case studies, group discussions, and simulations. I also encourage students to ask questions, challenge assumptions, and explore multiple perspectives when analyzing patient scenarios. By providing opportunities for students to practice critical thinking and problem solving, I am able to help them develop the skills they need to excel in their nursing careers. Can you describe your experience with integrating technology into nursing education? Technology has become an increasingly important aspect of nursing education, and I have experience using a variety of technological tools to enhance learning. For example, I have used online learning platforms to provide students with access to educational resources and to facilitate discussions outside of the classroom. I have also incorporated simulation software and virtual reality tools to help students develop practical skills and gain hands-on experience in a safe and controlled environment. By integrating technology into nursing education, I am able to provide a more immersive and engaging learning experience for my students. How do you ensure that your nursing students are prepared for the demands of the nursing profession? I provide them with a comprehensive education that includes both theoretical knowledge and practical skills. I also emphasize the importance of professionalism, communication, and collaboration as these skills are essential for success in the healthcare industry. Additionally, I provide my students with resources and support to help them prepare for certification exams and navigate the job market. Can you describe a time when you had to handle a difficult situation in the classroom or clinical setting? As a nursing teacher, I have had to handle several difficult situations in the classroom and clinical setting. One specific example that comes to mind was when a student was struggling to keep up with the pace of the course and was in danger of failing. To address this issue, I worked with the student to develop a personalized learning plan that included additional support and resources. By working collaboratively with the student, we were able to identify and address the underlying issues and help them succeed in the course. How do you ensure that your nursing students are culturally competent and able to provide care to diverse populations? Cultural competence is essential for providing high-quality care to diverse patient populations. To ensure that my nursing students are culturally competent, I incorporate cultural sensitivity training into the curriculum and emphasize the importance of understanding and respecting cultural differences. I also provide opportunities for students to work with diverse patient populations and learn about the unique challenges and considerations involved in providing care to these populations. Additionally, I encourage students to reflect on their own biases and beliefs and to actively seek out opportunities to learn about and engage with diverse cultures.
How do you stay up to date with the latest developments and trends in nursing education and healthcare? Staying up to date with the latest developments and trends in nursing education and healthcare is essential for providing the best possible education to my students. To do so, I regularly attend conferences, workshops, and seminars on nursing education and healthcare topics. I also read relevant research articles and participate in professional organizations to stay connected with colleagues and industry experts. Additionally, I am always open to feedback and suggestions from my students and colleagues as they often provide valuable insights into emerging trends and best practices. Can you describe a time when you had to adapt your teaching style to meet the needs of a specific student or group of students? As a nursing teacher, it's important to be flexible and adaptable to meet the unique needs of each student. One example of when I had to adapt my teaching style was when I had a student who was a visual learner and was struggling to understand complex concepts through traditional lectures. To address this issue, I incorporated visual aids and hands-on activities into my teaching to help the student better understand the material. By adapting my teaching style to meet the student's needs, I was able to help them succeed in the course. How do you foster a supportive and collaborative learning environment in your classroom or clinical setting? Creating a supportive and collaborative learning environment is essential for promoting student engagement and success. To foster this type of environment, I encourage open communication and active participation from all students. I also promote teamwork and collaboration by assigning group projects and facilitating group discussions. Additionally, I provide regular feedback and support to help students identify their strengths and areas for improvement. By fostering a supportive and collaborative learning environment, I am able to help my students build confidence and develop the skills they need to succeed in their nursing careers. Can you describe your experience with mentoring nursing students or new nurses? Mentoring nursing students and new nurses is an important aspect of the nursing profession and I have experience in this area. As a nursing teacher, I provide guidance and support to students throughout their educational journey from admission to graduation and beyond. I also serve as a mentor to new nurses providing guidance and advice as they navigate the challenges of their first job in the healthcare industry. By mentoring nursing students and new nurses, I am able to help them develop the skills and knowledge they need to excel in their careers and make a positive impact on the lives of their patients. How do you handle a situation where a student is struggling academically or clinically? When a student is struggling academically or clinically, it's important to address the issue promptly and provide support to help them overcome any challenges. I start by meeting with the student to discuss their concerns and identify any areas where they may need additional assistance. From there, I work with the student to develop a personalized plan for improvement, which may involve extra tutoring or clinical practice. Additionally, I provide regular feedback and encouragement to help the students stay motivated and engaged. By taking a proactive approach to addressing academic or clinical struggles, I am able to help my students succeed and reach their full potential. How do you incorporate technology into your teaching methods? Technology has become an increasingly important part of the nursing profession and I incorporate it into my teaching methods to help prepare my students for the modern healthcare industry. I use a variety of tools and resources, such as multimedia presentations, online discussion forums, and virtual simulations, to enhance my lectures and provide students with hands-on experience with the latest healthcare technologies. Additionally, I encourage students to use technology in their own studies, such as by using online resources to research and explore nursing concepts. By incorporating technology into my teaching methods, I am able to provide a more engaging and effective learning experience for my students.
How do you assess student learning and progress in your courses? Assessing student learning and progress is a critical part of teaching nursing courses. I use a variety of assessment methods, including exams, quizzes, written assignments, and clinical evaluations to measure student learning and progress. I also provide regular feedback on assignments and assessments to help students understand their strengths and areas for improvement. Additionally, I use assessment data to identify trends and areas where students may need additional support and adjust my teaching methods as necessary. By consistently assessing student learning and progress, I am able to provide a high-quality education and help my students achieve their academic and professional goals. How do you handle difficult situations or conflicts with students or colleagues? Difficult situations or conflicts can arise in any educational or professional setting and it's important to handle them in a constructive and professional manner. When a conflict arises, I start by listening to the concerns of the other party and seeking to understand their perspective. From there, I work collaboratively to identify a solution that addresses the concerns of all parties involved. In cases where a difficult situation cannot be resolved through dialogue, I may seek the assistance of a mediator or other neutral third party to help facilitate a resolution. Regardless of the specific situation, I always strive to approach conflicts with an open mind and a willingness to find a constructive solution that benefits everyone involved. How do you promote diversity and inclusivity in your nursing courses? Promoting diversity and inclusivity is essential for providing a high-quality nursing education that prepares students to work effectively with patients from a wide range of backgrounds. To promote diversity and inclusivity in my nursing courses, I start by ensuring that course materials and activities are inclusive and culturally sensitive. I also encourage students to share their diverse perspectives and experiences through class discussions and assignments. Additionally, I work to create a classroom environment that is welcoming and respectful of all students, regardless of their backgrounds or identities. By promoting diversity and inclusivity in my nursing courses, I am able to help my students develop the cultural competence and sensitivity they need to provide high-quality care to all patients. Can you describe a successful project or initiative you led or participated in related to nursing education? One successful project I led was the development of a new clinical simulation program for nursing students. The program provided students with hands-on experience in a variety of simulated healthcare scenarios, allowing them to practice critical thinking, decision-making, and communication skills in a safe and controlled environment. The program was highly successful, with students reporting increased confidence and readiness for clinical practice after completing the simulations. By leading this project, I was able to provide nursing students with a valuable learning experience that prepared them for success in their nursing careers. How do you foster a positive and inclusive learning environment in your nursing classes? In my nursing classes, I foster a positive and inclusive learning environment by promoting open communication, respecting diverse perspectives, and encouraging collaboration. I establish clear expectations for respectful behavior and create opportunities for students to share their thoughts, ask questions, and engage in meaningful discussions. By emphasizing teamwork, cultural sensitivity, and mutual respect, I create an environment where all students feel valued, supported, and empowered to succeed. How do you promote critical thinking skills in your nursing students? To promote critical thinking skills in my nursing students, I incorporate case studies, problem-based learning, and simulation exercises that require them to analyze complex situations, consider multiple perspectives, and make informed decisions. I encourage active class discussions, where students can engage in evidence-based reasoning and debate different approaches to patient care. By providing opportunities for reflection, challenging assumptions, 
and encouraging evidence-based practice, I foster the development of critical thinking skills essential for competent nursing practice. How do you assess the clinical competency of your nursing students? To assess the clinical competency of my nursing students, I employ a variety of methods. These include direct observation during clinical rotations, utilizing skills checklists, conducting case studies and simulations, and incorporating written reflections and self-assessments. I provide constructive feedback and guidance to help students identify areas for improvement and develop their clinical skills. By combining multiple assessment strategies, I ensure a comprehensive evaluation of their clinical competence and readiness for real-world practice. Please, subscribe, like, and share.